Bang! 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 Never fear, Cinder, she's here. Today we're doing another episode of Dragon Ball Z Retro Gaming, and we start a new series, new video, a new game. This time we're doing the second Dragon Ball Z game for the Famicom in the series, the one that picks up right after the Attack of the Saiyans. As we see, it's called Evil Frieza in the English, this English translation, just like the last one. The English is not complete throughout the whole game, but it's enough to make it playable to kind of see what's going on. Um, so it's Dragon Ball Z 2. The Japanese is, and I'm probably going to say it wrong, but Gekishin Frieza, uh, or Evil Frieza as this is calling it. So, let's get into the gameplay. Yeah, this is Eng not English, but a little story here explaining what happened in the first game. Vegeta leaving. All that's in English. Vegeta gets out. It has a dynamic. Goku has to stay behind while everyone else goes to Namek. And in this game, it is everybody else. We have to play. We have to fight with Gohan, Krillin, Tien, Yamcha, and Chapsu. And this game does work differently. Uh, first off, you know, when you go to move, well, you can scout the board ahead if you want and see what's out here. Well, you couldn't do that in the other, the other levels. So here's kind of what our map's going to do. We're going to go off this way. Until we get here, we'll have a little interaction here. And we've actually got two choices for how we can go. We can go off this way and up here. Or we can go up this way. It's a little bit longer of a path, but it gives you more opportunity for battles, however you want to do that, and then you'll finish up going up here, and making your way dynamic. There. So that's the path. Let's see your stats. So here's how the stats look like. Gohan has 1,700 base points. Krillin has 1,500, Yamcha 1,300, Tian Shinhan has 1,800, and Chaotzu has 1,100. Um, yeah. That's more practical than what we got at the end of the last game, for sure. Uh, that's more what their stats are supposed to be. Um, and if you remember the last game, you had to move so many steps uh, but here I can pick a five and only go two I don't have to go every I can go I can go all of or I don't have to go all of now the cards here are gonna be different you're gonna get an interaction with each square you land on you get Bulma cards, which will either heal your energy or your uh, your base energy or your, your health. Oolong will change your cards, kind of like you did before. Uh, if you get a Freezer card, you face an enemy. Another Bulma card. And there are a few other cards. Uh... This is your blank card. No, I don't want the blank card. Let's see what this last one is. Another freeze. Okay. Couple other card. Okay, now here we actually get told what we're facing against. So it'll be a little more understandable what's going on. And again, the way the cards match up here are similar to last time. Uh, 
this symbol will match up with Krillin and, and, and them. Uh, Gohan's got the different symbol, which isn't out here, so we'll give him Z here. We'll give Krillin. Now, one thing different is you get this option to use an energy attack, which is what happened automatically last time. Well, it, last time it automatically did a uh, stronger attack. Here you get a, to do an energy blast, simple, regular energy blast, or you can hit everybody, which is what I usually tend to do. Now, if there's only one enemy, it's going to force you to do the energy blast. All right. You'll see we've got a more deep space kind of look in the background. I don't have to tell you the names of the bad guys because, like I said, you'll be able to read who we're facing. We're facing Rob Berries right now. See, he's got the same looking thing he had last time, which is different than every, most everybody else's, which is the snake looking one. And of course, the bad guys again have this little web like thing. It's like most of them, a lot of them did last time. And there are, uh, uh, there will be some, we'll go through here and hopefully I'll catch every major difference to explain it to you within this video, this first video, uh, at least in terms of gameplay itself. When we get to characters and stuff, that may change. And hold on one minute. Okay, had a brief interruption, or a longer interruption, but I'm back. Um, okay, so... Now we've gone through one round of battling. Okay, after a brief interruption, I'm back. Let's go ahead and uh, gone through one round of battle. See, they're not dead. Uh, my guys aren't quite all dead yet. Aren't dead yet, anyway. But they're taking some battle. Now, we get cards like we did last time. We've got a dragon radar and we get. Or, we've got items. Uh, we've got a dragon radar and we've got Bulma with us. And if we use Bulma, we can heal some of our health. It's a fraction, but it still works, right? And then we go on. And like last time, this is an energy beam. Uh, you can actually read their attacks this time. I'm going to go big with Krillin, because Krillin will hit both of them with that attack. Won this battle faster that way. Of course, again, as I get stronger, the battles will go faster, at least to some degree, because our enemies eventually get stronger. What you cannot do in this level is scout out your en your enemy's energy levels, like we did in the last one. You can't do that here. Go ahead and get our Boma and get some more energy back. And I usually do save so I can check out the different cards. Um, so we haven't seen all the cards yet. We've seen most of them for this first part. But there are some other cards. Sometimes you'll get a Vegeta card, which will happen usually more later on. Um, once you'll do damage, some damage to everybody or something like that. There is a Master Roshi card, which is the one I'm really looking for. Master Roshi lets you do training. And depending on where it's located, there's two different types of training Master Roshi does with you. Um, if you recall, 
the training sessions from the last type of game. There's the one where you carry the rock. And that's one of them. And the other is the whole matching up elements of the card, like matching the fact that you've got two threes or you've got the same middle or the same bottom. And getting points for that. And of course, the stronger you are, the more points you get off of those. But it's not quite the same... Uh, uh, the points you get will escalate more than, than in the other version where you got an exact one point or five, two points or three points for each card doesn't quite work like that on this one But you'll see when we get to it. Get to one like that. How that really works. And you know, some people call this an annoyance to be able to do this. I think it's pretty useful to have that Bulma card sitting there to help heal. Now you don't actually... Like if, they, if one of your guys quote unquote dies, loses all their HP or goes even negative... They can slowly regain it by not fighting and just kind of being dead weight <clears throat> until they get all their energy back. And of course, you can use the Bulma card on them when they're dead until they get it back and then they're alive again. They won't gain experience while they're dead, but they'll gain some energy so that they can, can come back. Corrin, Corrin's like Palma, but he does even more. Of course, that was a base energy, so that was kind of useless. There's the Vegeta card. And like I said, something bad happens. Yeah, we hit a sun, and we'll take some damage or something. Um, that's the way that one works. Oh yeah, I forgot the Pruna card. We definitely want to use the Pruna card. Pruna gave us a Corrin card. Now, he'll give us different types of cards. Um, see, we got, an M we got those from fighting before. We got a corn card. Corn heals, of course, um, like he did before. There we go. Master Roshi card. We'll start with bumping up Gohan. And it doesn't matter which kind it is. Oh, it's this kind. Alright, it's this kind. Go, oh, this is the kind I want. I was thinking maybe it was doing the other one. See, again, you match up your cards. I can't match that one up, so that's going to fail. You're really being hard on me this time, aren't you? There we go, we matched that up. Well, I've picked two cards and you'll see I got 90 points. If I go back... And manage to match another card... And manage to match another card... There we go. I just jumped to 210 points. But you know, it's still not, a, I mean, when they're at 2,000, 200's marginal, but it's enough to make a difference. Um, go ahead and take a bigger move. Of course, you know, so if you want to go and do that whole save thing like I was doing so you can get a whole bunch of points you can level them up fairly quickly for, through this first round through this first board traveling to Namek
Also, something else to mention is the Saiyans in this game can get Zenkai boosts. So if I let Gohan's, but he's got to have really low health, like between one, between zero and uh, five, or I think it's five or six. Uh, I mean, it's not even ten. It's got to be less. It's less than that. Uh, so I think it's one to six. If you can get Gohan, maybe it's like one to ten or one to nine or something. But if you get Gohan in there, or when you've got Goku, if you get Goku there, or Vegeta there, and you use a Sensu Bean on him, which I don't have Sensu Beans yet, but when you get Sensu Beans, use a Sensu Bean on him during a fight, and they will level up and gain more, gain experience, gain some. They'll go to the next level and get more base points and experience and stuff. Uh, let me kind of just do one thing here to explain what I'm talking about there. Yeah, I can't, can I? Okay, never mind. I'll show you that, what I'm talking about in a moment. Oh, another thing, when you're fighting, on the previous game, if the guy you selected died, you, your move was wasted, your attack was wasted. In this one, you move on to the next bad guy. So you, you don't waste attacks in this game the same way. You'll notice that as, I, as I'm getting that little bit stronger, we are getting faster. Of course, it helped that Krillin, or that I got the training section for Gohan a little bit, although Gohan misses attack this time. Okay, so... Uh, let's get Krillin since we use his base energy. Let's give him some base energy back. take too much longer to finish this fight off. <laughs> and everyone gets 100 and we got a Chi-Chi card. And like the last game, the Chi-Chi card, most of the cards are very similar the last times, the last game. So the Chi-Chi card will Turn one of your cards into an energy attack card, but stats. This is what I want to show you. I was talking about before. Is you know you've got certain levels to certain points where you level up. I mean you're gaining base points with every every uh, every attack, every battle you win. You gain base points. And of course, as you get to certain base points, so when I get uh, Gohan here to 2300 zero, zero base points, he'll get to level 12. He's currently at level 11. He'll level up to level 12. Um, and then he'll get some more attack, or get some more uh, health and more base energy. So what happened if I were to have Gohan's health be at that uh, almost dead, you know, that 1 to 5, 1 to 6, and I were to give him that sense of being, it would take and jump this up to that point where it would level him up. However many points that is, that's how much uh, he would improve on his, his base points, his battle points. It would, imp it would improve that much. Um, and he'd jump up to the next level. And that's what that's how Sensu Bean would work for their Zenkai boost. Is it'll push them automatically to that next level. Even if they just achieved the level, 
recently, it'll it'll do the same thing. All right. So I think you've got the gist of this, and we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna play up to one of these spots here for the next video, and we'll start off preparing to hit this spot. Uh, I thank you for watching. I hope you will like the like the video. You'll share it. You will subscribe to my channel. Hopefully, you're finding this uh, series of videos interesting. And of course, we will eventually get beyond the Famicom games into maybe some games you've actually heard of before. Uh, <laughs> um, but this has been Dragon Ball Z Retro Gaming. I have been Super Saiyan 7 Cinders, and I thank you for watching, and I invite you to watch again. <laughs>